Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, born 7 October 1952, has been the president of Russia since 7 May 2012, succeeding Dmitry Medvedev. Putin previously served as president from 2000 to 2008, and as prime minister of Russia from 1999 to 2000 and again from 2008 to 2012. During his last term as prime minister, he was also the chairman of United Russia, the ruling party. For 16 years Putin was an officer in the KGB, rising to the rank of lieutenant colonel before he retired to enter politics in his native St. Petersburg in 1991. He moved to Moscow in 1996 and joined President Boris Yeltsin's administration where he rose quickly, becoming acting president on 31 December 1999 when Yeltsin unexpectedly resigned. Putin won the subsequent 2000 presidential election, despite widespread accusations of vote rigging, and was re-elected in 2004. Because of constitutionally mandated term limits, Putin was ineligible to run for a third consecutive presidential term in 2008. Dmitry Medvedev won the 2008 presidential election and appointed Putin as prime minister, beginning a period of so-called tan democracy. In September 2011, following a change in the law extending the presidential term from four years to six, Putin announced that he would seek a third, non-consecutive term as president in the 2012 presidential election, an announcement which led to large-scale protests in many Russian cities. In March 2012, he won the election, which was criticized for procedural irregularities, and is serving a six-year term. During Putin's first premiership and presidency real incomes in Russia rose by a factor of 2.5 while real wages more than tripled, unemployment and poverty more than halved. Russians' self-assessed life satisfaction also rose significantly. Putin's first presidency was marked by high economic growth. The Russian economy grew for eight straight years, seeing GDP increase by 72% in PPP. This growth was a combined result of the 2000s commodities boom, high oil prices, as well as prudent economic and fiscal policies. As Russia's president, Putin and the Federal Assembly passed into law a flat income tax of 13%, a reduced profits tax, and new land and legal codes. As Prime Minister, Putin oversaw large-scale military and police reform. His energy policy has affirmed Russia's position as an energy superpower. Putin supported high-tech industries such as the nuclear and defense industries. A rise in foreign investment contributed to a boom in such sectors as the automotive industry. Many of Putin's actions are regarded by the domestic opposition and foreign observers as undemocratic. The 2011 Democracy Index stated that Russia was in a long process of regression that culminated in a move from a hybrid to an authoritarian regime in view of Putin's candidacy and flawed parliamentary elections. In 2014, Russia was suspended from the G8 group as a result of its annexation of Crimea, ancestry, early life, and education. Putin was born on 7 October 1952 in Leningrad, Russian SFSR, Soviet Union, to parents Vladimir Spiridonovich Putin and Maria Ivanovna Putina. His mother was a factory worker, and his father was a conscript in the Soviet Navy, where he served in the submarine fleet in the early 1930s. Early in World War II he served in the destruction battalion of the NKVD. Later he was transferred to the regular army and was severely wounded in 1942. The youngest of three boys, Vladimir Putin's two elder brothers, Viktor and Albert, were born in the mid-1930s. Albert died within a few months of birth while Victor succumbed to diphtheria during the siege of Leningrad in World War II. 
Putin's paternal grandfather, Spiridon Ivanovich Putin, was a chef who at one time or another cooked for Vladimir Lenin, Lenin's wife Nadezhda Krupskaya, and on several occasions for Joseph Stalin. Putin's maternal grandmother was killed by the German occupiers of TVR region in 1941, and his maternal uncles disappeared at the war front. The ancestry of Vladimir Putin has been described as a mystery with no record surviving of any ancestors of any people with the surname Putin, beyond his grandfather Spiridon Ivanovich. His autobiography, Ot Pavogo Litsa, which is based on Putin's interviews, speaks of humble beginnings, including early years in a communal apartment, shared by several families, in Leningrad. On 1 September 1960, he started at school No. 193 at Barskov Lane, just across from his house. By 11 years old he was one of a few in a class of more than 45 pupils who was not yet a member of the Pioneers, largely because of his rowdy behavior. At 12 years of age he started taking sports seriously in the form of sambo and then judo. In his youth, Putin was eager to emulate the intelligence officer characters played on the Soviet screen by actors such as Vyacheslav Tikhonov and Georgi Zhornov. He studied German while he attended St. Petersburg High School 281. Putin speaks fluent German. Putin entered the law department of the Leningrad State University in 1970, graduating in 1975. His final thesis was titled, The Most Favored Nation Trading Principle in International Law. While at university he had to join the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, and remained a member until the party was dissolved in December 1991. Also at the university he met Anatoly Sobchik who later played an important role in Putin's career. Anatoly Sobchik was at the time an assistant professor and lectured Putin's class on business law. KGB career. Putin joined the KGB in 1975 upon graduation, and underwent a year's training at the 401st KGB school in Okta, Leningrad. Putin was reportedly evaluated by KGB superiors as flawed, unsocial and with a lowered sense of danger. He then went on to work briefly in the second chief directorate before he was transferred to the first chief directorate where among his duties was the monitoring of foreigners and consular officials in Leningrad. From 1985 to 1990, the KGB stationed Putin in Dresden, East Germany. During that time, Putin was assigned to Directorate Hess, the illegal intelligence gathering unit where he was given cover as a translator and interpreter. One of Putin's jobs was to coordinate efforts with the Stasi to track down and recruit foreigners in Dresden, usually those who were enrolled at the Dresden University of Technology, in the hopes of sending them undercover in the United States. Putin and his colleagues were reduced mainly to collecting press clippings, thus contributing to the mountains of useless information produced by the KGB. Former agents estimate they spent three quarters of their time writing reports. Putin's biggest success in his stay in Dresden appears to have been in contacting a U.S. Army sergeant, who sold them an unclassified manual for 800 marks. During the fall of the Berlin Wall, when civil rights activists threatened to storm the KGB building, Putin burned the KGB's files and sent frantic requests for orders from his bosses in the capital. Moscow is silent, Putin later recalled in his official biography. Following the collapse of the communist East German government, Putin was recalled to the Soviet Union and returned to Leningrad where in June 1991 he assumed a position with the International Affairs section of Leningrad State University, reporting to Vice-Rector Yuri Molchanov. In his new position, Putin maintained surveillance on the student body and kept an eye out for recruits. It was during his stint at the university that Putin grew reacquainted with his former professor Anatoly Sobchik, then mayor of Leningrad. 
Putin resigned from the active state security services with the rank of lieutenant colonel on 20 August 1991. On the second day of the KGB supported abortive putsch against Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev. Putin later explained his decision. As soon as the coup began, I immediately decided which side I was on. Though he also noted that the choice was hard because he had spent the best part of his life with the organs. In 1999, he described communism as a blind alley, far away from the mainstream of civilization.